Forest Inventory, Part 2, Using a Clinometer to Measure Tree Height, brought to you by the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources and the Forest Stewardship Program. This video is Part 2 of a four-part series designed to help forest landowners understand how to manage their forest lands and enable them to conduct an inventory of trees in their forest. Hi, I'm Susie Coker. I'm a forester for the University of California Cooperative Extension. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to measure the height of a tree using a clinometer. So, another important uh, dimension of a tree is its height. And it's important to know the height because when you put the diameter and the height together, we can tell you how much wood is in that tree. That's how we classify their size. So. To use, uh, we have a tool to use to measure the height of the tree, and this is called a clinometer. Uh, clinometer uses trigonometry to measure the height of a tree. And if you remember back to your high school trig, maybe or maybe not, if you have a triangle and you know the length of one side and the angle, then you can understand the length of the other. In this case, that's the height of the tree. But since we don't want to have to do a lot of math, my instrument is already calibrated as long as I stand a known distance from the tree. So since my tree is only, it seemed pretty short, I chose the 66 foot scale. I could have chosen 100 if it was a taller tree. Uh, I'm going to look at the tree using my clinometer. I have both eyes open and I look at the scale. On mine, it's on the right, the 60 foot scale, 66 foot scale. Um, I shoot the bottom of the tree. I have both eyes open so I can put the black center line at the bottom of the tree. I read the number seven. And then I'm going to swing it up to the top of the tree and see the top of the tree. I'm looking at it with my left eye and with my right eye, I'm reading the scale and I see the number 42. Since I've gone past zero, I have two angles, zero to seven, zero to 42. That means to get the entire distance, I have to add them together, or 49. So using this instrument, that tree is 49 feet tall. When you look through the clinometer, you'll see two different scales on the right and the left. To check which scale you want to use, tilt your head way back while looking through it to see the unit label at the bottom. On most clinometers, there'll be a percent side and a chain side. To use the percent side, you'll want to be 100 feet from the tree, but 50 or 200 feet away can also work. To use the chain side, you'll want to be 66 feet from the tree, but 33 or 132 feet away can also work. To get an accurate reading, measure from the uphill side. For taller trees, move farther away. This is because the clinometer loses accuracy when tilted too far up. Clinometers are more accurate than the Biltmore stick demonstrated in part one and should be used when conducting a more precise inventory. As you can see, a clinometer is a very simple and handy tool for accurately measuring tree height. In parts three and four, I'll discuss how you can lay out plots in your forest and using the tools I've demonstrated, create an inventory of useful information about your forest. For other resources, check out our forest stewardship webpage. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.